Hi, this is Danny from the Whiteboard Blog. In this video, I want to do just a quick tutorial which explains how to create a anagram game in Smart Notebook. Um, this is something you could use using um, different keywords from your, your topic list, um, maybe as part of a lesson start or maybe as part of a plenary. So the first thing I'm going to need to do, I've opened up Smart Notebook, I'm going to go to the text tool, and I'm going to choose just a normal type of font, and on my screen I'm going to write the first word that I want the students to guess, and I'm just going to make that slightly bigger. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to just clone that, so my other writing is going to be exactly the same. I now need an anagram, so I'm going to go to the internet, and there's a really good web page I like to use, which is wordsmith.org slash anagram. In that page, you can type in the anagram that you're looking for, that you want to create. It will then generate a whole load of anagrams for you. Choose one that isn't rude. I'm going to just copy that. Go back to my Smart Notebook page. And if I double click on my writing here, I can just paste in my other word instead. So now I've got my two anagrams. What I want to do then is to have the two words covered up by a box so I can reveal the anagram and then after a certain time reveal the answer so the answer isn't already there. So I'm going to go to the text tool, up, uh, the shapes tool at the top here. I'm going to choose a shape, this time it's a rectangle, and I'm going to draw a box. I'm then going to select that box and from the properties tab I'm going to choose a solid fill and I'm going to fill that with colour. If I double click on that I can then type in the word anagram into that box. I'm then going to clone that box so I've got an identical one. Again I'm going to bother drawing it again and make it match and I shall make that yellow by choosing the colour because it's still selected. Double click on it, I can change that writing and make that the answer. So now basically what I've got, I can reveal the anagram to the students and they can have a go at guessing it and after a certain time I can reveal the answer. Now what I do when I do this over um, over here is that um, there's a popular game on, on afternoon TV called Countdown, which we have in the UK, and I've realised this doesn't translate across to anybody that's watching this from overseas, but Countdown has a particular theme tune, which is 30 seconds, and you solve the music in that time. I'm going to introduce that music into my slide, so I'm going to find um, something that I want to be um, the object that I'm going to click to play the music. So I'm going to go to the gallery, and I'm going to type in clock, and down here under pictures, I've got lots of images of different things, so I'm going to pull this alarm clock out of the gallery and drop it onto the page. Now I want this clock to play the countdown theme tune, so this is actually an MP3 I've downloaded in advance. Uh, what I will do if people want this music is I'll put it on my, um, I'll link to it on my blog, I'll put it in my Dropbox, you can link to it, so um, check the blog for a link. I'm going to click on the little square in the corner of the, the countdown clock, and go down to sound, and then I need to browse to the mp3 file that I want the clock to play. So if I browse and on my um, on my desktop I should have put bum, 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 bum. I can find all the rubbish on my, on my desktop there it is countdown theme tune, countdown mp3 if I open that with the corner icon I get a loudspeaker which will play the noise I don't want that, I want the whole clock to be clickable, so I'm going to choose Object and say OK. So now, if I click the clock, then I can click the clock again to stop the music. Now, the countdown theme um, from the TV show is exactly 30 seconds, that's quite a good time to guess an anagram. As an alternative, what you can do, um, if you go into the gallery again and you search for Timer, hit Enter, under Interactive and Multimedia, you'll find a timer which you can use instead. So you can drop that onto your page and then you can set that to whatever time you want it to be. Okay. And that's basically it. Your, your page is created. I'm going to just um, delete this timer from here.
what I can then do, if I go back to the page sorter, is I obviously I want to play one game, I want to play maybe five or six different words to start the lesson off with. I don't want to have to make this page from scratch each time, so I can go up here and I can clone my page over and over again. So I've got five copies of that page. I can then switch to page two, I can double click on my words, change the, the answer, and I could then go double click on here and change the anagram, go back to the website, get a new anagram, and just keep doing that. As, as one final thing, if you do find you want to do this a lot, you can take your page that you've made, select it in the page sorter, and do add page to gallery, and it'll take a copy of this page and put it into your my content area of the um, gallery, which is just there. And so you'll start to see all your notebooks, files, and pages, which are things that you've added directly from there. That's basically it. That's a, a quick run through on how to make a countdown anagram game. Um, look out for more videos soon. Um, thanks for listening.